Hmm. Sphinx is unsuccessful. Frustrated. Well, how, how much pollen do you use? And how many drops of water? Um, how, how close to the actual burning embers? Uh, <laughs> causes a mild laughter from the dog fighters from Bal uh, Balram. Uh, Sphinx, it's not like how much this, how much time that, uh, you must merge seeing your, your breathing and uh, being. You must be kind and compassionate to the common people around you. Get your spirit together first, man. Here, here's another pinch of pollen. Try it again, Egyptian. Well, Sphinx, huh? With all his heart and soul. Oh, uh, yeah, strange to master hand pressing. Dark green pollen into finished connoisseur grams of uh, Balkistani hashish. He fails another time. Something is wrong. In his technique, the amount of water, the amount of pollen, the time he heats the wad of doughy pollen, uh, perhaps the intensity in, in his palm when he's kneading, uh, the mixture, or worse. Something more mystical and calm, karmic is lacking. He hasn't got the spirit of it. And anyway, the whole outcome is just a mess. Unsatisfactory. Uh-oh. Aladdin burns a, an oblong of naan bread mm -mm -mm, while ogling the ankles of a fully veiled... I mean, they're, you can't see their eyes. There's just a mesh they look out through. Totally, totally veiled temptress who is of extremely short stature. <laughs> um, yeah, she gives her ankle bracelet a jingle in his direction and uh, black smoke ominously rises from the clay uh, non-oven. And... Oh, he knocks over a tray of dirty glasses and teapots, trying to salvage the scorching naan with his buttered wooden pallet. Paddle. You know, when naan burns, the molecules, reluctant to unstick themselves from the inside of this kind of tandoori clay oven. Yeah, uh, well, <laughs> meanwhile, John Sheet, he tries to, no, let Sphinx down, uh, gently, kindly. Uh, Egyptian, we have been practicing hand-pressing in our clan for centuries. <laughs> and us, since we, we could walk, you know. Uh, Kismet grants only to a few who shall master the secret. Um, look at your hand rub the second go around we could smoke it if we were desperate you know but <laughs> nowhere near masterful we just like we'd throw it out you know oh uh, well uh, hey tomorrow is our last day in Kandahar, the dog fights will be over, and we're back up to uh, Mazar Sharif in our home in bulk. So, uh, enthrall us with more tales about the life. We've never heard these stories before of Omar. He was a jazz saxophonist on the west coast of the United States. Yeah, a, a chef in France in the luxurious Hotel de Maurice 
And uh, yeah, he he, uh, he was the Dobiwala in Gujarat for Mahatma Gandhi. More stories. Enthrall us with more stories. And this will be your last lesson also. Uh, and when Sphinx, she wants to share a farewell hookah for today, he removes Dusty's amber chillum from his caftan. The dogfighters automatically press their palms together in prayer and bow toward the inscribed amber pipe as if Omar himself were here. Oh yeah, Mahmud, Jamshid, Bauram, they, they intimately know the meaning of the inscriptions in the Balkistani design etched along the conical clay pipe, conical amber pipe. Uh, they gaze at Sphinx in awe.